Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. Today I have a 2011 Jeep Liberty powered by a 3.7 liter V6 engine. And in this video I will show you how to remove and replace the ignition coil. This video will apply to Jeep Liberties made from 2008 all the way up to 2012. Okay, so here is my new ignition coil. I got a new one from my uh, parts store. It's not OEM, it's uh, BWD and here is the part number if you want to write it down. Now these Jeeps 3.7 liters have only three ignition coils. They're both on the driver's side. There's one here, one here and one here. And I have to replace the last one here for cylinder number five. Okay, now here, even by looking at it, you can see what has to be done. You'll have one connection here on this side. You'll have one hose going in here and you'll have one 10 millimeter bolt right here. And it's gonna go just like this. Okay, so if you're replacing the same one like I do, the last one, it's a good idea maybe to remove this hose so you have more space to work with. It's just a rubber hose. So it should just slide off, just like that, and move it off the way. And now the next thing to do, first you want to disconnect this connector. There is a black clip just here on top of it. You want to press it and wiggle this connection off. Okay, just a bit of effort. It wasn't removed for a long time. Okay, and that's it. On this side, you just want to pull this hose off as well. There is nothing much to it, just wiggle it off. And now you have a 10 millimeter bolt down here. So you just want to unscrew it. Once you have unscrewed the bolt, you can just pull the ignition coil out. That's it. And you can install the new ignition coil inside and that's pretty much it and like I said um, connect the wiring, the holes on this side and screw in this bolt, that's it. Okay, so I installed my new ignition coil, I screwed it in, now like I said just connect this piece back and the wiring as well just like that and these holes that was on the way i'll also just put it back in make sure it's on all the way so there is no leaks and that's it it's very very easy to do and you can do it yourself in five minutes so you don't have to take your car to the mechanical shop to do this if you have uh check engine light, your check engine light blinking and the code is pointing toward the ignition coil. This is how you can replace it. So that's something you can definitely do by yourself. Okay, thank you for watching this short video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing and joining my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.